this war is unrestricted warfare, and there are ways to actually does not have to cause a lot of money, does not to sacrifice lives, and Americans can win this if you follow the right passes. You know, and it requires wisdom, it requires courage, and requires a lot of things, especially help from God. But I think absolutely I agree with you. And I just want to mention here, in the Middle East, the CCP has been planning this for the last 40 decades. If you look at how when they established their relation with Iran, it goes back to 1980, helping them with nuclear um, uh, uh, projects. Okay, that's uh, providing them uh, with weapons in fighting in the uh, Iraq and Iran war. That's 1980s. So, but since then, the, the 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 Chinese Communist Party has established a military base, which these are symbols for. So they have already have a military base. They also have a, a bio labs that created in many of those Middle Eastern countries, including Iran and Saudi Arabia. And Saudi Arabia, according to my old school, the lab is built right by the Red Sea. And then they also started a de-dollarization process, as I shared with previous uh, shows, that they enter in gigantic amount of a contract with Middle Eastern countries and asking, demanding the term, the contract term is demanding them paying in RMB, in global trade settlement instead of United States dollars, okay? So they're already starting their trends. And with those multi-billion, 30, 20 years of contract, you you, you bet you're gonna see the de-dollarization, rmb happening. And also, they also control the ports OK, um, I shared with the revelation of my school early this year in a conversation with him, between him and the new president of Iran, Lacey, uh, Abraham Lacey, in early February. They have already make arrangement about controlling all the ports. And these are critical choke points for those oil to be exported to other regions. And I put it on the map. Only Iran and Saudi Arabia actually can have alternative routes they don't have to use the Strait of Hormuz, but every other country in Middle East, other than these two, they have to. They have to rely on the Strait of Hormuz, which is only 22 miles wide, um, no, a sea pathway. And for the, for the navigation of the oil transportation, only two miles each way width. The width is so narrow, so that's why Iran can basically choke that very easily. So, and then 5G, you know, the CCP's 5G put